Halifax's homelessness strategy was officially endorsed this fall, much of it envisioned with provincial government cooperation. It considers where unhoused people are currently living and what should happen to them. As of November 1st, about 1,014 people are looking for stable housing. Many in tents tucked away in sheltered green spaces, in fields exposed to harsh weather, or in urban forests away from prying eyes. So where will these people go under the new strategy? And how will the city look? Let's start with the latest announcement, an emergency winter shelter. This former church on Windmill Road will have space for up to 100 people and will operate 24 hours a day for at least the next two and a half years. Those 16 or older experiencing homelessness will have access to three meals a day, showers, on-site storage, and support services. The city's strategy states it will be a priority to move people sleeping rough or in tents into this winter shelter. But not all will be able to. So, the city has earmarked outdoor locations, each with its own tent limit and designated site for those tents, that will be patrolled by city staff. In Dartmouth, there's Geary Street and Windmill Road, then Green Road Park, tucked in behind the Mount Hermon Cemetery, and finally Martins Park by King's Wharf. Near downtown Halifax, there's Grand Parade by City Hall. The Barrington Street Greenway will have two designated sites. Tents will be allowed on University Avenue berms, six tents total for the whole street. And finally, Victoria Park. Twelve tents will be allowed at the end of the park with the fountain. Further afield, there's Beaufort Park, the correctional center diamond in Lower Sackville. Lower Flynn Park between the train tracks and Quinpool Road. And then about half of Saunders Park toward William Hunt Avenue. Some people living rough may be moved into one of the winterized pallet shelters purchased by the province. About 100 will be organized in Halifax, possibly into villages based on the needs of those living in them. The city will provide some land, but for now, these sites are just possibilities. Then there are the tiny homes. Here's where they're going. The Correctional Center Diamond in Lower Sackville. But the tents and the people living in them now will be moved before this project can get underway. Here it's planned that there will be 52 units, housing 62 people, about 200 square feet each, laid out like bachelor apartments. For a size comparison, the average shipping container is about 320 square feet. The strategy says the goal is to have 30 homes ready by the summer of 2024. Finally, all of this is in addition to the former Waverly Inn. The Barrington Street building is set to open in December as temporary supportive housing for women and gender diverse people experiencing homelessness. The strategy walks a line between financial, environmental, and compassionate considerations. From facilitating intake and selection of people living in tents, to snow clearing and maintenance. All of this work needs to happen quickly and effectively, it says, because the lives of those living rough are at risk. David Irish, CBC News, Halifax.